have the battery plugged in because the battery is exhausted so I'm just stuck here next to the cord but what I'm basically doing at the moment is just organizing this buffet and I had like a little bar cart section situated over there but I think I want to put my small desk there just so I've got an area to do some like actual work downstairs that's dedicated rather than just using the dining table or the bench so I'm going to clear out that plant stand with all the alcohol on it and I don't really like having alcohol out on display anyway and I've just reconfigured the shelf so that it takes the high bottles and put it into there. All right I'll show you when it's done. All right, so I have relocated all of the alcohol down here and I've just utilized the Lazy Susan that has previously been in my kitchen and my laundry just down to here so you can easily reach the back of things. I don't usually keep too much alcohol in a sea unless I'm having a party. Uh, and then these were just some birthday gifts and... Oh, that was quitting my job gift. So birthday, birthday, birthday and quitting my job gift. Uh, so at least that's all in the one area. And then all of the kind of alcohol glasses are in here as well. So cocktail party glasses. And then... Prosecco glasses, wine glasses, some gin glasses, a wine decanter, cocktail shaker, ice bucket, wine thing. So it's all kind of like bar type essentials over here in one area. In the top I've just got my kind of nicer teacups and coffee things but I'm not sure if they're going to stay there. They're just there for now. And then just the like paper napkins. So in the second one down that was all of the cocktail glasses. And then the third one down, it's just got some leftover decor at the moment, but this is all going to go downstairs, whatever I can't use like in the house at the moment. Uh, in the house for decor, it's going to go downstairs. I've got some shelves that I'm going to set up down there just to hold extra decor because I'm going to need to take... Those aren't staying there, they're just there to hide the, the Wi-Fi box. Um, I'm going to need to take... I'm going to need to take decor out from around the house when I decorate for Christmas. So there's lots of stuff done but it's not staying where I've put it. I've just been moving stuff around and trying to see what works where. Um, just trying a couple of different configurations with the lounges and obviously the TV unit is just the same, the Christmas tree and then over there I've just set up my small desk for the moment. So that's where the bar cart was. Well the bar that's where that plant stand was and that is not staying there, that's moving. So for my desk I have just got the small one set up across this wall while the Christmas tree is here. And then I'm thinking when the Christmas tree comes down my big desk fits perfectly across there. So I'll see how it goes. It's in the garage at the moment. The kids are going to use it to build some Lego on over the Christmas holidays. Um, so it's definitely not going to waste. It's just that it can't really fit in that corner there while the Christmas tree is up. So when the Christmas tree is up, I will use the small desk. And then when the Christmas tree gets packed away, I will bring up my big desk and see how that looks in this space. But for today, I am going to be finishing off all of the kitchen. So basically what I've been doing in the kitchen is just sort of mapping out all the different containers in all of the different cupboards just to see how they fit and to see which things I want on which shelf. And I'm just using the low shelf that I don't have to climb up and down on as my tester shelf. So I'm not gonna keep the mason jar ingredients on this shelf. I'm just using this as the, sh the tester shelf to see how I wanna configure everything and organize it. But these are not gonna stay, they're coming out. Um, and then all of these kind of more lightweight ones are coming down because they're the frequently used things I need to have them on this shelf so that both my boys can reach them really easily without having to use a shelf. In all of these cabinets everything is pretty much organized. Uh, so this one is just for cabinet, uh, not cabinets, this one is just for crockery and then in here I'm gonna do a bit of a switch out. This is just for spices and kind of cooking things and I'm just going to switch out these tiny spice jars for these bigger size ones that I got a little while ago. Just because they're more convenient to use I think and they also hold more so you can get bigger size bulk spices and then up there there is just like backups of the salt and pepper, cinnamon and chocolate for my chocolate shaker. And then in this one I just have 
some like a drinking glasses all in there but I need tea cups coffee cups and then up there there's just some like pitchers and water jugs and then just some entertaining type stuff there oh and my teapots are there so this is all kind of stuff that you need for drinking and then some entertaining stuff in the lower cabinets this one or they're in the dishwasher but this is just kind of pots and pans so it's a bit awkward because it's got the gas connection right in the back there but it is just at the moment pots and pans and then I've just got a riser in the back which again I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like that but it's just for now and so that is holding my big Dutch oven in the back some bigger pots that I don't as frequently use and then that is where my big um, Le Creuset pot goes the pan goes and then there's just a little pot that's in the dishwasher covered above the fridge I've just got two metal risers from Ikea and then I've just got like serving platters and kind of they're not special occasion plates but they're just kit plates that I've had forever and my kids and I always use them whenever we have um, like pancakes for breakfast I don't know why we always use those plates but they are the pancake plates so I cannot get rid of them because it's like a little family tradition uh, and then up the top there's just some handled plastic baskets with less frequently used things so there's a blender and a stick mixer some plastic party cups I think the middle one's empty then there's like some picnic type picnic type cups and um, forks and things and then in the next one down the very end one there's just all like birthday cake baking supplies okay so that is that covered up there the drawers are just okay so the drawers are just pretty basic at the moment the drawers are cutlery drawer uh, and these inserts they're a bit strange but I mean they're okay just got to get used to them Next one down is just utensils, but I haven't really organized that as I would like it yet. The drawers are very, very narrow, like they're not wide drawers at all. So a lot of the organizers that I've got don't fit, but I don't really want to be going and buying more. So I'm just going to try and mix and match with what I've got. Next one down is just some empty glass jars. So the large wide mouth mason jars, which I'm trying to switch out all of the narrow mouth ones for wide mouth ones. Um, and just as I empty out the narrow ones, I'm just putting those in the garage and I think I'll just drop those off at charity when they're all empty. And in the bottom, it's just like a wrap at the moment. So some baking paper and some alfoil. Mm. Under the sink, so this has just been quickly unpacked and organized sort of just like for now. Um, but I've still got my lazy Susan, but I'm gonna have to re-jig this because it's hits there. So you can kind of swing it halfway around and get it, um, but it's not 100%. And then I've just got all my dishwasher tablets and things and bits and pieces and I haven't stopped that down yet actually so I have to do that um, and this is just a little bin that I've picked up from Kmart that just goes under the sink uh, and then just some plastic Ikea Variera tubs to hold cleaning supplies just for the moment but this is getting reorganized because I have to fit a recycling bin in here as well so this is just for now in the bottom of this cabinet this is really good these fit just perfectly these are the rolling divided storage containers from Kmart these are unreal they're stackable they're modular so you can see this one is like the narrow and high one and it's the same as two of the um, narrow and short now the hinge does get in the way but you can slide them out you just have to kind of like slightly maneuver them but for the most part, this is the stuff that I'd probably use most frequently. So it's paper towel and all like the lunchbox type things. And then down in the bottom one here, I've just got all of the plastic storage containers and there's some glass ones underneath. Then in this one that slides out like that, there are more like lunchbox kind of size storage containers. And then underneath is stuff that I very, very rarely use. So that is stuff like... Um, like sushi molds in the back there, sushi molds, cookie cutters and muffin pans, muffin paper cases, um, a baking apron, some birthday candles, and then some, what do you call it? Like the things that go, the nozzles that go in the icing bags when you do icing. So this one is what I want to do today. So up the top it's got the Howard Storage World Mimi separators. So they are just plastic storage containers. So in that, and I need a stool to get up here because it's very high, I'm just planning on putting all of the backup things. So this one has some backup paper towels, a Brita water filter, 
um, and some lunch bags, some lunch paper bags. And then these two are empty. This is just up here at the moment. It's going to be coming down to the very bottom shelf. And then the mason jars are going to be coming up here on a different riser situation. So that is that. Down here is where I've had my beverage station set up, but I was just testing the size of the mason jars on that Kmart bamboo shelf. Um, so that is why that is there. In the bottom shelves of the pantry tower, so that's the bottom two shelves, the beverage coffee station is going to be there. Yes. So down here, just to maximize the space because the shelves are really deep, the cabinets are really deep, um, I've just used these Kmart sliding rolling divided organizers and these are unreal. They are, I think they're about, I don't know, maybe 7 or $10 for this size. And I think these bigger size is around $12 maybe I'm not 100% sure but it holds like all of your pantry essentials and obviously since we've just moved here the pantry is looking very bare this one is empty besides a scale and a container uh, so I definitely do have to go shopping and they have the different um, handles so you can use them back to front um, this one has got like a little handle to pull out like that and this one's got a handle to pull out like that these are honestly so good um, and you can see they're modular so you can buy all the different sizes and I will definitely have those linked below. They're always linked on my website in the, I've got a section on my website for each room of the house with absolutely everything that I can find detailed and linked. So if ever you want to know that about that, just head to my website. It's always in the description. Okay, it's so rainy outside. It's kind of cloudy and rainy today. Um, I've also got this kind of entry area set up here. And then a box of extra storage stuff that needs to go down to the garage. But it's kind of coming together, but I really want the kitchen to be sorted out today because we've been here for a week already. So I really just want to get that sorted out. Oh, and then just at the end of the bench, I've just done like my usual setup thing with a pantry shelf that just covers the toaster because I was thinking of putting the toaster away. Oh, hang on, I never showed you in this cupboard. Just like a ramble. <laughs> um, so in the cupboard under here, I've put the microwave. We don't really use the microwave besides, I don't know, sometimes to heat up leftovers occasionally and basically to make microwave popcorn, um, which the boys have sometimes. So then I've just got the cutting boards to the side of that. And at the moment, because I don't have a knife holder, I just have this sitting on the top. So it's just a divided, um, divided drawer organizer that I've just popped the knives in, but I've got something in mind that I want to look for. I think it's on sale at Target at the moment. Um, it's just a little dedicated knife um, organizer. And then down here, I've just got some more of those, some more of those Ikea shelves there. And I've just got two stacked up, one in front of the other, a full size one and a half one. And then some baking, um, baking dishes underneath that. Got a little pie maker in the back standing up, slow cooker up there, and Nutribullet here. So it's kind of like a bit of an appliance type station. So that is that. I wake up from the sunshine on my face. So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who was sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call Friends showed up at my door They wanted me to go out for a while We were there The best coffee travel mugs in the world Amazon They're a little bit pricey, they're $21 each But they are so good and they are 100% dishwasher proof We are on the coffee pods, mucho essential, coffee machine, this, and then in that spot, hmm, 
I really was liking having this. stuff to go downstairs. Lounge room where I'm gonna go binge Virgin River season two. And then that is over there. But to be honest I'm thinking of switching that buffet over there for this entry kind of hallway stand because the stairs are just behind that wall where you come up and down from the garage which is the main way that we would enter the house. So it kind of makes sense and it's a pain because I'll have to take everything out to move it. It kind of makes sense to have, ugh, God, I hate myself sometimes, um, to have this over there where that is and that over here because I thought that was much deeper than it actually is. And in fact, it's only about a few millimeters, the tiniest, tiniest bit that is, um, wider than this. So, because I was worried, oh, if it sticks out too much, it will block the entrance here. But I actually don't think it would. It just means I have to take everything out. Uh, everything out of that cabinet and do a little switcheroo. But that's why I kind of wanted to put everything in place and just test how it looks. Um, before I committed to doing things like hanging the prints up on the walls with 3M. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I don't need to make any firm decisions, but I don't know, I just think it would be better to have this kind of entryway thing right here where the stairs are. Because as I mentioned, that's all going and that's just stuff to go downstairs, that's going. So it would just be the mirror, those two are going also, it would just be the mirror and the stand, the bookshelf with all the entry type paraphernalia and probably this hat rack, which honestly makes sense. Uh, just creating more work for myself. All right, well, that's gonna be another video. Um, but yeah, that's the situation. The table just needs to get everything packed up into boxes downstairs. And I'm saving the tree to decorate for when the boys come home for just one night tomorrow and then they're off on school holidays to their dads until Christmas Eve. Oh, I'll show you a quick sneak peek of what I've been doing outside. We did such a great job. Okay, so I don't want to show the whole thing because I'm going to make a whole video for it. But if you've been following me on Instagram, you will have seen...
So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed a little sneak peek into the unpacking and just organizing and setting up the new place. Sneak peek at the courtyard, which is absolutely my favorite thing that we've done so far. It actually was so quick and easy to do. Those Ikea tiles are amazing. The whole thing all together. I'm not even joking. It took less than two hours to lay all that. It was, once you figured out exactly how to do it and how to configure the tiles in the right pattern to link everything together. Uh, it was so, so quick and easy and I will have a whole video that I'm just halfway through editing up for you guys soon. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for obviously more unpacking and all of the rooms coming together in the next few weeks. If you are not already, be sure to subscribe before you go, hang out and watch a whole bunch of videos. There is a ton of content for you to binge watch if you are new around here. And with all that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Steps on the ground hate me, but I ain't never coming down.